hello guys uh, in this video I am going to show you how to how to draw a UI switch on your application both by using interface builder and code so let's start with the new project and it's a view based application I will call it switch and let's save it on the desktop and let's go to the application same window on top of that we have a view controller so let's go to the interface builder first first let's get the interface builder part working so i need a switch so i look for a switch switch is the on and off button so i have the switch now what i need to do is i need to say let's say i'll put a label around it so what I'm doing is I'm going to use this label as a background of it and pick the label go to its property remove it I will say background color of a label is say green okay so once I do that Okay, so there's nothing. Where is our put it on top of it? So I'll just move the label above. So these two things there, let me move it here. So that's what we have right now. So I'll tell you why I use the label in the background. Let me go back to the code now and uh, tell the code that there is a uh, IB outlet UI switch star switch uh, switch is a switch is a is a is a punk is, is a predefined uh, word so I can't use it so I'll say switch button and IB outlet label star PL okay and then I need to write a function b action which is called when the switch value change so I say switch changed and let's implement this function here so what I'll do is when the switch is on which is switch button so let's say if switch button dot on so this returns a boolean value if you see on is a boolean if switch is on then I'll say lbl dot background color equal to ui color green color else lbl dot background color is equal to ui color red color so the labels background color will change depending on what is pressed on the switch so let's see it will not work right now because we are not yet connected the items uh, you know the drill go to go to connections and label connected to label and button connected to the switch button also we have the action so connected here value change so when the value of the button changes it will call that function and the background color will change accordingly now this green is what I selected so it might not look exactly as it shows in the, in the using the UI color green color uh, you'll, you'll figure out what I'm saying so window view and on off on so look at this green color is different than this because I just picked the color using using the picker color picker so anyway so this thing works let's make one more this time by code no using interface builder this time I need that um, so let's see I am calling UI switch star switch code and UI label call it star LBL code and let's make one more function switch code change and this time void uh, 
so same function but the only thing is the button is called code this time and the label is called label code oh, I think I put a L over there by mistake but that's fine code L mm. so that's cool next we go to view did load because we need to now say programmatically drag and drop those items so I'll say switch first let me add the label is equal to mm. lock init and it with frame cg react to make let's say i want to draw it uh, a little below i can use the help of this to see where i want to draw it so open this and see i want to draw it a little bit around here so that i can go to the scale here and see what is the 92 so let's say 92 13 137 83 so let's go back 92 uh, i forgot already 213 137 83 30 83 undo this go like it look at this first 113 and 241 13 and 241 i guess okay let's leave that there let's close this okay so that adds the label code and now I need to as always l dot background color equal to let's say you green color initially and self dot view add sub l l code so there we go next is the switch ui switch no I already defined switch switch code equal to ui switch allocate init with frame cg rect make it is 113 241 and width is say 100 by 30 it's just a guess i don't know what the size would be we'll come to know when i draw it and then I say self dot view add sub view switch code one more thing we need to add and that is switch oops switch code add target and the target is self the function where defined the function you say by selector and you say switch code changed control events UI control events value changed yep that's what we're looking for let's close this and this so we'll see so let's see if it works so if it draws everything properly everything shows up properly so on by default it's off so I need to do is I can switch code dot on equal to yes so it will show me that it's by default switched on off off so i can also set no which is default value but then i would want to go and change this to red color let's see how it looks yeah perfect so this is what we're look looking for for ui switch this is how we do it um, keep on watching more videos for more elements um, thank you very much bye bye